on air, on Tracks FM. Fourteen minutes past eleven. Good morning, Malaysia. Auto with you up till two p.m. today on Tracks Momentum. Now, if you want to check us out, you can do so right now on our FB page because we are currently live at Tracks FM official. That's T R A double X F M O double F I C I A L. And today we have a very special interview, special, and it is with uh, YB Hannah Yo, the uh, member of Parliament of Segambut. Good morning. Hi, Auto. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Finally. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that you are a mother of two and uh, you've gone through. So much you are a lawyer as well, and now you are a member of parliament. So this is not the first time; this is already a second time. And you have been also the deputy uh, minister as well. Yeah. So it's been such a long journey for you, and here you are finally. I get to talk to you, and we get to like chit chat, and everybody here is just so happy to have you here. So we just want to know beauty with brains, right? <laughs> is how people actually describe you. Actually, so uh, you were the first woman in Malaysia to be appointed speaker of the Selangor uh, State Legislative Assembly or DUN in 2013, and uh, you are the youngest DUN speaker in the country. Could you tell? us um, how to tell us how what actually inspired you to be who you are today when I was given the opportunity to serve as the Speaker of the Selangor State Legislative Assembly, I felt great pressure uh, simply because they said, oh, this is the first woman Speaker. And I knew then that I had to be um, calm. I cannot lose my temper when I'm conducting the uh, House session. I have to make sure I don't simply uh, send people out of the House. Um, and, and all that, I think, led to how I carry myself so I always have to think 10 steps ahead uh, to ensure that you know I don't mess this up simply because if I mess it up then people will say oh for women it's not suitable to be speaker because they are emotional that's that's the label they like to use on on the ladies right mm-hmm. so I have to make sure that I am not that at all and so for me um, there's no shortcut um, in politics, I think you just have to work really hard, especially if you represent urban constituencies like Segambut. People do expect to see you uh, just like how you campaign. If you campaign that you will be ever present for your people, you got to make sure you are there during lockdown, during flood. Uh, at all times, you are available for the people. Uh, so that's how I've just made my that's just how I do politics. I just make myself available for my people. Uh, when I was serving as the state assemblyman for Subang Jaya, 10 years, and then now in my second term in Segambut. So there's no shortcut. You just have to work hard uh, and serve the people. And then people will appreciate it. That. Mm-hmm. And do you get rewards out of, out of it as well? When you see people happy and, and their or problems are being solved, do you get joy out of it as well? Uh, definitely when you're able to help those who are voiceless, especially children uh, and also foreign workers. Uh, I, I I do get um, speechless sometimes when I go out and in, in a restaurant when a foreign worker say, oh, I follow you on Facebook. And, and I had to pause and then figure out a response because these are people who cannot vote for me. They can't do anything for me. And uh, for them to recognize that I speak for them, I think that's a, a big honor that I, 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 f- I feel, you know, I'm in politics, not just for votes, but if I can help people, I want to be the voice to help people. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to uh, politics as well, uh, you were, how, how did you actually join politics from the very beginning? Was it just like a snap decision after you finished your law or is it like since you were young, you wanted to join this and do make a difference in a way? Yeah, I never wanted to be in politics. I didn't know much about politics until um, I came back from Australia after my law degree and I actually attempted to apply to be a PR in Australia, but my application was rejected. It was not successful. So I attempted like many young people to leave Malaysia because I believe that you know, the grass is greener overseas. Uh, but now that I'm stuck here, uh, I have to find ways to improve this because this is ultimately home. Uh, what can we do? Uh, instead of running away, what can we do to fix the problems here? And so that's how uh, I got involved. And, and Tony Poa just came back at the time to set up a branch in Damansara. And I joined Tony's branch, Tony Poa's branch. And yep. that's how I got involved in the DAP. And so in 2008, when parliament was dissolved, I was given the opportunity to contest for my hometown, Subang Jaya. And so that got me started. I, I love the fact that uh, you decided to stay as opposed to just leave and uh, take the easy way out. What actually uh, made you stay aside from that? Uh, 
of course, you know, uh, by design, my application failed. My application for PR failed. And looking back, I'm thankful. Otherwise, I would not have gone on this journey. And so my encouragement to a lot of people is, you know, when, when you hit a closed door, don't, 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 don't just cry over that closed door. If you are able to get up again and just look around you, what are the opportunities around you? You'll be surprised at what you'll find. Yeah. And, and sometimes we give up so easily, you know, a one-time defeat, we give up. But we should not. And if you just look at Sheraton move and, and now, you know, a lot of people are just glad that they didn't give up on the voting process. They still went out to vote and leading to now, you know, having that change. Now, in order to for the Kerajaan Perpaduan or Unity Government, right, uh, yep. headed by the Prime Minister to be practical and successful, what is the essence of prosperity, do you think? I think for the Prime Minister leading a government, a unity government like this, you have to take into account the different representation from all these parties. And you have to make sure that it's multiracial because you are leading a federal government, Malaysia. And you have to have representatives from Sabah and Sarawak. You have to make sure you have young and old. So that is a, a balance that the Prime Minister must strike to ensure that he brings the best of the, the younger generation and the older generation into his cabinet. And after declaring that he would want to shrink the size of the cabinet, it's going to be very challenging to actually cater to everybody's uh, wishes. Mm -hmm. Now, to ensure Malaysia's continuity when it comes to stability and growth, uh, we must find a common ground in the, its diversity. So what is your opinion on this ground? Like uh, what I shared earlier, the common ground, I think, for every Malaysian, young and old, different races, uh, is to ensure that their starting point is this, Malaysia is my home. Uh, if everybody works on that premise, Malaysia is my home, I cannot... Um, run away. I have. I cannot destroy it. It is home not just for me, but it's f home for others also. Then we will um, not give up so easily. We'll build and ensure that there's space, there's tolerance for everybody. Everybody has the right to exist together. And we all bring you know, the best of what we can offer to, to the table uh, and, and build that strong. And that's exactly what our uh, first Prime Minister Tunku Abdul Rahman has said that, you know, the strength is in diversity, in different races. So if we look at our common ground, our similarity, instead of focusing on our differences, then we have a good starting point, that platform to build something positive to move this nation forward. Yeah. I love the fact that you said uh, differences uh, in a way that, uh, you know, that can contribute yep. to our uh, you know, economy, can contribute to our society. And just like uh, you said early on, you love the fact that uh, when stricken by, uh, you know, uh, the possibility of not going overseas and all that. So you look at other opportunities that's there, there and you jump on it. So that's uh, particularly what I've already learned from you. Thank you very much for that. And for hopefully that those listeners listening in right now, uh, Take note of that as well, because Malaysia is our home and we must do something about it. Don't just run away, but, uh, you know, actually contribute something towards it. But anyway, looking at our Facebook account right now, we'd just like to say to uh, Patricia Lim Lee Tiang says, good morning, Tracks FM. Good morning to you and also to YB Hannah and all Tracksters. Thank you so much for your comment as well. So if you want to say hello, you can do so via our Tracks FM Facebook page right now because we are currently live. So head over to T-R-A-X-F-M-O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L. And we're going to continue with uh, YB Hannah Yo in just a bit so we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back stay tuned tracks fm only the latest in music and news in your car in your home on your phone i love this radio station i love it i listen to it all the time Radio Malaysia, Tracks FM. Good morning, Malaysia. Once again, uh, since that we're pressed for time, we're going to go straight forward. And today we are talking to YB Hana Yeo, Member of Parliament of Sagambut. And uh, we're talking about also the unity government. So if you want to say hello, you can do so right now at our Tracks FM official Facebook page right now. T-R-A-X-F-M-O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L. Now we're talking about unity government. So uh, YB in order to meet future challenges and maintain the nation's peace and prosperity, racial harmony, uh, social cohesion and national integration are three crucial factors. Now, what do you think about that? Uh, I agree, like I shared earlier, how we need to focus on our similarities and our strength. Um, so, for example, when tourists come to Malaysia, they want to experience the best of Malay culture, Chinese culture, Indian culture. They want to experience what Borneo has to offer, Sabah and Sarawak. And so when we try to um, take away uh, what distinguishes each race and, and religion, you know, we are trying to offer something that is... Um, 
not so authentic, I, I think. You know, when we allow everybody that space to just be who they are here and we celebrate that diversity, uh, you'll be surprised at how many people actually come here because of the diversity that exists in Malaysia. So don't try to change what we cannot change. You know, I, I can't change your skin colour. I can't change your race and your religion. We should stop focusing on that. Just focus on things that we can build together. Let's work on public transportation. Let's mm -hmm. look at education system, public health care system. These are things that we can change and we must change yeah mm -hmm. but so much time is spent all this all these years talking about things we cannot change you can't change a person's race yes. you can't change a person's religion just let's just focus on what we can change policies policies definitely that's something which i think everybody is waiting on the policies as well but uh, yeah we're talking to yb hana yo the, the singapore member of parliament and uh, furthermore given that the needs of the populace economy recovery and also national development should be prioritized at this moment so what hope do you have for the kerajaan perpaduan or unity government led by prime minister datuk sri anwar ibrahim I hope that the Prime Minister will appoint a, a functional uh, cabinet, a cabinet that is hardworking, a cabinet that meets the people, uh, understand the needs of the people and focus less on politicking, but really get down to just working, fixing things that are broken, systems, infrastructures that are broken. There are so many things, I think, that the government can do and must do uh, and the business sector, everybody's just waiting because they have been put on this mode, waiting mode for so long from the, in the last four years, right? We have changed three prime ministers and people want to invest, they can't because they just don't know what to expect. And for the longest time, people have been talking about PRU, elections coming, elections coming. And so now that election is over, we can put this behind us and we can focus on rebuilding. Give us that five years, give us that full term to just accomplish the plans that we have. You know, everything takes time to accomplish. So we just want not for this to end prematurely again. Give us time to implement what mm -hmm. we have planned. Now, what message do you have for our listeners in Tracks FM before we let you go? It's so easy now on media social to see how politicians use race and religion to divide Malaysians. And we must be so uh, fierce in guarding that unity that exists today. So I really challenge people who are using media social, call out those who use media social in a very irresponsible manner when they share fake stuff, when they talk about the riot and all that, flag those response, report those accounts so that these accounts do not have the free space and the free room to continue to share their lies. I think it's about time that moderate Malaysians take back ownership of this space mm -hmm. that has been so wrongly used. Well, there you have it. We're talking to YB Hana Yeo, the Singapore Member of Parliament, and we're talking about unity government. So you've heard it from her right here on Tracks FM. So yes, make sure that uh, you do your very best when it comes to Malaysia, because this is our home. Nowhere else in the world is nothing like Malaysia. That's it's right. unique. No matter what you have or what challenges you face, just keep on striving forward. Just to add, uh, YB, I, yes, I've been through many jobs. I've been uh, declined many, even certain fast food centers also yeah. declined my, my job application last time before even I got this job so I didn't just you know just lay down and just squabble and know what but no I just continue striving for it because eventually this is our home so we do what we ever can you know, find within yourself what is the you know what do you make what makes you tick follow that all right so that's uh, my little piece of information for you YB but anyway is there anything else that you'd like to add before we let you go again sorry I think be patient Malaysians really have to have some patience with this new government. Everything takes time. Even, you know, from the appointment of the Prime Minister to the formation of the Cabinet, it's going to take some days. So just be patient. Hang in there. All right. Thank you very much. We're talking to YB Hana Yeo. She is the Member of Parliament of First Gambut. We're talking about unity government. And once again, on behalf of Tracks FM listeners and also our crew over here in uh, the studio, I'd like to thank you and uh, all the best in your endeavours. Thank you, Otto. So now we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back right here on Tracks FM. Make me feel good. Good, good. Anywhere, anytime. Tracks FM.